All right, it's Memorial Day weekend and I've uh, been doing jobs around here. Mulched yesterday and stained the deck. So today I'm out just doing some different things. I was washing a couple of tractors because tomorrow we're gonna go on a tractor ride, hopefully. But been doing some ditch banks with the Moline Sickle Bar. And I uh, actually just looked out in the horse pasture and it's a couple of just high spots. I don't need to cut the whole pasture, just some high spots. That, areas where the horse won't eat so I'm gonna go knock those down and so I figure I'd film it and maybe I'll do some filming tomorrow on the tractor drive so I'm gonna uh, get this thing in the pasture and do a little sickle bar in. all right out here in the pasture I just uh, undid the uh, the road bracket that goes on there to hold that up I added hydraulics to this last year because when I'm doing it down in the ditch it's kind of hard to crawl down in the ditch and then uh, have to lift this thing up it's not the heaviest thing in the world but it's not the lightest thing in the world so get her set here to uh, do some cut I don't rent, get the revs up very much when I'm using this. Because it is older, the belt's not so good. I just don't want to break anything. Got this last year from uh, Joe Pro. His, this was his grandpa's.
might ask why a horse doesn't eat this grass and my answer would be I don't know because it's a horse nothing a horse does makes sense my wife's horse I'm in first gear low so it's gonna take us just a second to get over here to this other little patch but Ditch banks, this thing's a lifesaver though. It really helps. I didn't film any of that because uh, it's uh, the banks are pretty steep and I just don't want to. Got to kind of pay attention. All my hands are busy making sure I don't get myself in any trouble. doesn't eat this grass but it sure does use this as its place to uh, drop manure I should have mentioned at the beginning of this, I got this hooked up to uh, the 69 Jet 3 Super. If you watched any of my videos with the, uh, I did a lot of work on this last winter, rebuilt the, uh, put a clutch in it, and uh, went through the PTO. The PTO was running all the time went into it, fixed all that. All right, that's what we needed to do. So I'll shut down the PTO and then it does like a little bit of RPM to pick up all the way. And uh, to finish it out, to get you guys set up and all. I gotta get off and put the uh, road. Probably not a lot of fun for you guys bouncing around. It's just a bar that comes up and it's threaded on the end and it's got a little nut on it so that's the setup put the hydraulic cylinder on there it was made like that from the factory so you could do that with a piece of wire I can pick it up I can't pick it all the way up I probably need a smaller cylinder there but 
it works well enough where I want to do. The only thing I want to change is I want to put 90 degree fittings on the cylinder so that uh, my hoses aren't dragging on the ground. But it did have a setup where the cable ran around and it would go around the three-point arm. So when you picked up the three-point, it would pick up the sickle bar, but I couldn't figure out how to work that. I couldn't find anybody that could really tell me how that worked. So I don't use it. So I'm gonna drive over and uh, put this away. And uh, since everything sitting down over there, I guess I'll do a little filming over there too. All right, so I'm over next door. Neighbor John is nice enough to let me keep my stuff over here, especially while I got the paint booth set up. If you're watching my other videos, I'm painting a garden, that 114 garden tractor right now. But got uh, the 53 UB out earlier and washed it, and the uh, 7302 gas with the uh, Moline quick hitch on it. I'm gonna be going on a tractor drive tomorrow to a, we have a local brewery called Hemix. It's about I don't know. Within 10 miles of here, we're gonna me and some buddies are gonna drive over there tomorrow and just uh, check it out, kind of know the owner, and uh, I just thought it was cool since it's kind of out in the middle of the country to, uh, to go over there. Got the 70 Pro paint out. Had to roll it out here to uh, kind of rearrange tractors, get things out. Still got to figure out this thing's still dripping antifreeze, and it's the water pump. I got to get that fixed. And of course, Grandpa's UB over here, and uh, got the slow moving vehicle sign on it. I need to rig up a bracket to get that up on the fender, but uh, got it washed up. Didn't wash the propane, but it's not gonna go any place uh, here. Not tomorrow, at least. So I got everything uh, kind of cleaned up, everything lined up, and uh, yeah. So, probably do some more filming tomorrow when we're on this uh, on this tractor drive. I'd like to know why Moline went to white wheels on these 70s. It's different, and I guess it sets them apart. It makes them special since that's one of 25, and this is one of 109 made in uh, for the one of 25 propane, one of 109 gas, I should say, made in uh, 70. But I prefer the yellow wheels but I painted these correct because that's the way they were. But uh, I think Moline kind of screwed up on that. I know that all the other ones are that way. And I guess on, if they were spin outs, it wouldn't look so bad. You know, as an example on the jet, if all it was white on that back was the center there, it wouldn't look so bad. But ah, just something that I talked to a lot of our other Moline guys and they kind of agree. They wish they would have stuck with yellow wheels all right until tomorrow all right we're gonna get ready to go on the drive over to Henmix got Blake on the 7302 gas Brian on the 69 jet 3 Jim on the 53 UB and the wife and I will be getting on the 302 propane
right, we're over at uh, my buddy Drew's. We're picking up Derek and Josh. Josh on the 860 Ford and Derek on the uh, John Deere. So we got some green color. And we'll continue this drive. Hopefully the green one doesn't, we don't have to tow it at some point. that green one I figured it'd be broke down by now so as I said we're at the Henwick farm brewery just north of Kilburn Ohio it's on the sheets farm so this across the road used to be the whole farm built the brewery back in about 2020 and uh, it's a real nice place when we arrived uh, there were horses here because it's right close to the Alum Creek uh, horse trail so people can ride the horses up here people drive up here to try the uh, the beer and of course we brought the tractors so that's a little history of where we're why we drove over here it's only about 10 miles from home or a little less so a good thing to do on Memorial Day weekend and have a little bit of fun out here so we're getting ready to uh, head back they had a little craft fair here so we just walked around check things out talk to people now we're gonna head home Got the lineup here. Got Derek's John Deere 2020. Got that last fall with the loader on it. Got Josh's 860. We did a little work on it this spring with the carburetor and uh, just getting it running a little bit better. I was over there helping him on that. Grandpa's UB. Got Brian on the 69 Jet 3. Blake on the 70 302 gas. And then of course I got the 302 70 propane so we're getting ready to roll out we're just waiting on our last drivers and then we're we're hitting the road